All right, we're doing a little muskrat taste experiment. Uh, I did this last year, but I screwed up. Last year, I didn't put a camera by it. I just put a big pile of a whole bunch of different fruit. Expecting, you know, some of it to be gone next morning, but it was all gone, so I don't know what they like the best. Anyway, we've got trail cam closest to the camera. It's just your standard apple with red skin. It's, uh, I think those are honey crisp, so a bit yellowish. These are little ornamental apples. The real bitter, the red ones. And oh, here are crab apples. Now, I've heard that some places, uh, mainly New Brunswick, I've heard they do this. It's very common. On their colony trap, they only use yellow crab apples because they think the the uh, muskrats like them best. And they even go to the extent of putting a little yellow dot on either side of the funnel. Anyway, I'm going to leave that here and it's kind of easy to get to so hopefully it's still here tomorrow. I actually painted that 2x4 it's hammered onto before I brought it out here so it didn't show up like... Anyway. Well, if it does go missing, you'll never see the video, and if you do see the video, you know it didn't. So, we'll see you tomorrow. For you, that should be right about now. Well, it's the next morning, and as you can see, it doesn't look like much has happened. Some of those apples there, the first ones might have been taken last night, and it's also raining. This river floods quite quite often, so I'm going to leave those there, but i got to move that camera to a different position. If I don't, I'll lose it. And I'll come back and check again tomorrow. Actually, I'll probably check a couple times throughout the day just to make sure the water isn't getting too high. All right, so I had to end the test a little early. It was raining when I woke up, and it was raining heavy at times today. And I had that camera placed right in a little floodplain. And usually within five, six hours of a steady rain, that little that little spot in the river will, you know, sometimes it'll come up two feet. And I didn't want to lose the camera, but we did get some data. I did get one video. Um, at first I thought, well, he only had time to grab one, but I had the camera so close to it, just the way the bank was there, that I don't think the camera had really had time to, didn't have time to make a video because the rat was just out of the water and grabbed it and gone so quick that it didn't, uh, didn't grab it. In fact, I suspect the one video I did get was probably triggered either by the rat previous or you know just just happened to catch him because it's a 10 second video and he's only there for like a second um, I took a couple screenshots and I put them up and I, I put how much each each one did uh, the red the little red apples they never touched them one of them they took five pieces the other one they took six pieces and I'll replace. I'll repeat this again. Uh, somewhere's where I can put the camera a little further away, and I'll have different types of food for him. But anyway, it was kind of neat to see. Um, anyway, I'll put it up right here, and you can you can see it. And I hope you like the video, and I'll see you next time.